Hey guys, I'm Kyoko. Welcome back to Wildermyth. Last episode, we destroyed the King's Wallow Stand, uh, which Robert V did. Now, uh, also, we defeated one of these incursions, and now we have the other one to deal with. Actually, what I'm gonna do, because we don't need all five of them, we have Relene and Stag over here, so I'm gonna send two people to secure this. Actually, no, 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 don't, don't work faster. Cancel this job. Go do it to find an item. We're gonna send... We have a mage and a hunter over there. So let's send maybe... Deathlord and Robert to work on this. Robert is hurt anyway. So yeah, these two can work on this. So you go there, you go there. And these guys are gonna destroy that, unfortunately. Alright, uh, we have legacy points. So we're gonna take stuff away from the Murthagi. We don't want the Spectic 3. There you go. And we have... Uh, bl blood Timber? You mean in Fountain Goblin, right? Uh, that's fine. I think... I'm gonna even prepare a Tier 3 now. Yeah, build three, Tier 3 and we can add Lucy, Nuke, and Chris over here. And they can work on this while these guys destroy Mount Altar, which is just as fine. And research complete over here. What did we find? Some hardwoods and gray bark. Tier 1. Uh, it's worse for him. Is it better for you? Less speed, more armor, less dodge. I don't even know if it's better. There's just more armor. No. No, I think we're fine. We're salvage it. Yeah. And we also get Snakestone Sash for 5 dodge. Nobody has this before, uh, or so far had this. Uh, extra dodge, that's for our tanks, I think. So either Nuke or Lucy, let's go for him. And Robert and Deathlord, since they are back there, they can go here and repair this site now. Yeah, this Mount Altar has been destroyed, and this is now a tier 3. These guys are gonna stay here, wait for the Murthagi. They're not even that strong, and here they are. Defend the Fountain Goblin. We are all ready to go. Let's fight. The Morthagi have come. Glinting metal dolls as they scuttle from sun to shade. But their morbid geometry has always been easy to distinguish. How should the defenders respond? Well, let's try staying hidden this time around. 70% with stag. Concealed amid their surroundings, they elude the frustrated eyes of their enemy. Choosing the moment to strike is up to them. Wait for it. Good. That's good. We get to be stealthy. Stealthy, and we get uh, extra damage from flanking combat. Nice. So they have Bad B, Wildling, Watchman, Sommelier, Wardrobe, and Coachman. And of course, there are more. Come in. And there's already a Watchman over there, yet we are stealthy, so we could, you know, be sneaky about it if you wanted to. Chris can't get far to give more inspired stuff. We also have Lever Ransom. Sweet. And we have Feria. I mean, we have arrows as well, so we could try arrows. Rain death. Okay, six damage, I'll take it. Can Nuke get untouchable? He could, maybe. He could also reveal a lot more enemies, which he didn't. Go! Yes! Very nice. Okay, our first untouchable. He did. Uh, enemies, more enemies are coming from where? Doesn't show yet. So for now, we're still stealthy. Hmm. Somebody might open that door. Hey, Stag. Come over here. What happens if you open this door? You will reveal a badge me. That's a, that's a good chance you have to shoot over there. The area is already revealed. Uh, you could go even inspire him. Let's go inspire Stag. And then you can't ignite there, but you could ignite there. Okay. Stag. Just go for it, dude. Okay. 10, da 10 damage. I like that. She's gonna be hitting armor. You probably can't get to him. Raleene? Right. We have Raleene over here. What can Raleene do? Maybe something? Interfusing with the lantern? there and then throwing fire over there yes good kill we're lean let's go two big boys down 
some more big boys to go. Alright, you are fine. Just go be inspired over there. Uh, you go be inspired over here. Are we all gonna be that way? We might need some people around here. Who knows? Just have you go be inspired. And guardian for now. You stay maybe further down here. You're fine. Send you here. <clears throat> okay, there's the coachman. He's a coming. There's a welding. He's a coming. Where's your uh, wardrobe siding? I know you have them somewhere out there. Alright, fire lash him. 10 damage. Wow, he's got a lot of HP. This is going to be perfect for stag. Oh, you say perfect. It's not as perfect as you would hope. But I believe in him. <sighs> stag. My son. What have you done to me? You can't do anything over here. Where's the enemies coming from? Up there. And over there. So yeah, down here really... Oh, they're coming from down here as well. Never you mind. Uh, we can send Lucy in here. What can Raleen do? Not much is the answer. Unless you come like over here. Then you can do more. Interfuse with this. And Splinter Blast like here. That's a good shred. Should have waited for that before I went with Stag maybe. Uh, Tyria, you kill the Welling. That will do. And she is still stealthy. Take a shot. 64. 4 damage. Okay, I'll take that. So we have Nuke and Lucy, right? Lucy, just charge it. Charge it. Nice. Damage, dude. Let's go. And Nuke. I guess you wait for these guys down here. There's a sommelier coming. There's a sommelier coming. That sommelier over there clearly is one of those that has been spawned by wardrobes. And there's more spectics coming from here. Kill all enemies? Oh, we are already spawned all of them, I think. Alright. Nice. Uh, Nuke, you go fight all of these guys down here. We also have arrows. Arrows. Fired, well. Should have probably done that before. That's fine. He still should be untouchable. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Chris, can you fire lash him? No. Well, uh, we need to go this way because wardrobes. Wardrobes are somewhere out there. Need to slide him. Or, you know, at least one wardrobe is out there. Uh, do we send somebody to help back down here? Uh, our boy Nuke? Okay, there's a Spactic. So clearly there's a wardrobe up there. Clearly. Uh, he's not going to be able to attack. He's been blocked. He's not going to be able to attack. At least I don't think so. Let's see. Raleen. What can he interfuse with? Scalding Rain. Or Wild Grass. Or Splinter Blast. Hmm. I think Splinter Blast might be better over here. Let's try that. That's a double shred. Very nice. Good, good, good. Now you could kill Eider. So let's kill the one with more HP. Sweet. Good job, lawyer. You got lawyered. Uh, heroism. Come on, Nook. I was hoping you could kill both. Alas, that's not going to be the case. Let's, I guess, now just come over here to the Spectic Man. Now, up here, Stag could kill there. Let's get Lucy up front. We need to find the wardrobe, which we have. And there's a welding over there. Good. I need, uh, I need my boy Stack to be doing damage over there. Oh wait, Raleen, you have one more tick? Ah, but you can't do anything, because you can't attack anyway. 
right now. That's fine. Let's send Stag up here. He's gonna start shooting that wardrobe. Oh my. Oh my Stag! <laughs> I missed you, man. I missed you. Definitely did. Let's see. Let's get you up here and let's see if Chris can do something to this weldling. Can you discus him? Maybe? Yes! Nice. Okay. Got that discus. Or, or discus. That's fine. So this should really leave just one of these guys remaining. Just the spactic. Ooh, failed the attack on Nuke. There you go, Nuke. Let's go. I think that should be all. Yes! Easy money. No level ups, but that should lead us to the final battle now. Sure, Weldings have more armor and stronger. Whatever. We do have next Calamity soon. These guys are coming to repair that. I guess these five, these five can come and repair this. And then we just go for the Loom Forge. There we go. Mont Altar has been repaired. Okay, so that's repaired. Good job. So, we have everything built and repaired. We're ready for Loom Forge. We might get some Calamities before that. But I think we're ready for the last Assault. It's only trend 6, so really shouldn't be that tough. Let's get uh, Nuke Ghost in there. Our two mages who have been with us from the start. Chris and Deathlord. Of course we bring Stag. And now the question is, is it Robert, Lucy or Raleen? I think we take Lucy. I think another tank would be quite nice. And Raleen and Robert, thank you for your service. Let's go out there. Okay, we got in our Calamities. Uh, we're gonna cancel all the Morthagi bullshit, which is just that one that would be extra damage for Watchmen. The rest might as well happen. It's all good. Here it is, boys. The final battle. Whenever the sun goes down, camp unfolds around a spark. And then it's time for talk. For cleaning and patching and polishing. The last camp is no different. Preparations that are made towards the coming day will get finished or forsaken besides the final fire. So that's our hardwoods, hides and ingots. Fabrics and spell threads. Oh, we can upgrade before the final battle. Uh, that's cool. So we could upgrade uh, Chris's weapon to like level 3. Let's just go Ebonthorn Limb. That's fine. Grab that. I like it. Yes, a mythical staff. Why not? Uh, Death Lord, can we upgrade your stick, your wand? Yes, we can. More ingot spell threats and hardwoods. We, it, this might mean we can't upgrade anything else, but it's gonna look very cool. Yes, Witterer of the Helm. Create. Sweet. Uh, can we upgrade your bow, Stag? Wait, you already are level 3. High School of the Honeybread. We could go for the fire. Damages the three nearby enemies. This one doesn't have anything special. This one gives him fire effect, but less stun damage. And this one gives him stone. This one shreds armor and pins all enemies within a two tile radius. This one burns more enemies. Shall we go for that? Or shall we uh, upgrade the secondary for him? No, this is the secondary. Oh, you can't upgrade the secondary. Never mind. How about some armor upgrades? We can upgrade a Nuke's armor. Yeah, let's go Nightmail for Nuke. Let's grab that. Our main tank. You have level 2. You have level 2. You have level 1. Let's go with Nightmail for you as well. Oh, yes. And you already have level 2. Sweet. So yeah, we can upgrade to the beast end. The fire. I, I'm gonna go with a fire one. Let's go with a fire bow. Create. He still has the little guy over here. I think that's all the stuff upgraded for us. We don't really need anything else unless we want to like upgrade the spears, which we can't. So we're fine. It's time for battle. The air around Loom Forge reeked. Sour and oily, the thrums and clicks that echoed across the field could be mistaken for insects if we didn't know any better. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That looks so cool, that weapon. If it don't come back, may the stars tell our story to any who would have it. We are ready, boys. Okay, so they have the Grand Matron. 
Oh no. Sommelier, Spectix, Coachman, Wardrobe, Butler, and Weldling. The Grand Matron. We don't see the Grand Matron yet, so I'm guessing she's back there. Good thing is we have Wardrobe right there. And we do have our own Sommelier as well, who hasn't quite healed up. But, uh, let's go, though? Let's go, though. Stag can now do the... Oh, he can actually just shoot through here. Let's see if Stag can take these two Sommeliers out. That would be nice. Okay, he took one. Do we have fires around? I don't see no fires around that have been promised to me. We can attack through this scenery. Ah, you can even attack through this scenery. Cool. Which means Chris should be able to... Oh, but Chris can't. Oh, there's nothing to ignite over there. He can interfuse with something. Boiler. Steel fire. That seems like a good, good idea. Bone lens. Bone lens is a good pierce one. Let's grab the bone lens. You see the spectacle over there. No worries. Oh yeah, this is good damage. Go. Nice, nice. Two HP remain. Uh, Death Lord, what can you interfuse with? Discus? I think we do discus on here. Yeah, let's let's try doing that. And it is gonna deal damage to Sommelier as well, almost killing him. That wardrobe's dead without being able to spawn anything. There is our Sommelier now. Who can already kill this one. Hey. Hey now. Why not? Alright, then we send Nuke up front. Then we send Lucy up front. And these guys go and be guardians. Okay, Spectic is, run uh, is yelling an alarm. Butler is running away. Matron Link. Oh, so the Matron's gotta be out here somewhere. What's the Matron Link doing? Grand Matron's Link that increases damage and defenses of all linked Mortagi. Well, we know the big uh, lady is out there somewhere. Close by, probably. Ooh, uh, Chris, can you bone lens these two? Yes, you can. Oh, shame that that one dodged, but I guess that will do. Nuke, come up here. There's the Grand Matron. My god, she's a big lady. Get the untouchable. Nice. Okay. He's untouchable. Let's bring him closer. Let's see what a Grand Matron can do. Alright, so she's got Slam, so melee. She's got Shoot, 2 to 7 range. Okay. She's got Guarding. Grand Matron will attack the first enemy that comes within range this turn. Okay. Uh, it's got the Matron Link, immune to Compulsion, okay, and Guardian, is always Guardian, attacks the first unit to move adjacent to it each turn. So, we gotta be careful with our melee boys when it comes to this. That's fine, we will use our ranged boys then. No worries whatsoever. Stag can come up here, we need to bring the Inspiration Nation. Oh, Chris already acted, never mind. Never mind. Okay, uh, Death Lord. Interfuse with that lamp. You can blind people. Or Brazier, steal fire. Let's do the, the fire stealing. 48% chance, but it's gonna do damage if it does. It's gonna stay there, so I'm fine with that. Well, I guess start shooting at him. Still have our sommelier. I can't really do anything this turn. Besides dam damage scenery. Come over here, buddy. We have Lucy. Who can't entangle anybody. Stag just shoot at this guy. Amazing. Uh, I guess Guardian. Okay, one damage is not that much. This guy's gonna do a firewall, which we can use, probably. He lost the Matron Link. Oh, he's gonna take the fire back. Okay. It's fine, good block. And good dodge! Grand Matron, getting herself hit once again. And there's the coachman back there as well. Big boys! Lots of big boys. Okay, Stag is gonna have to move. Stag is gonna move here. Now he's got a, like a good through shot. 
It's not so good. Our Sommelier can do something. Nuke can do not much. Chris, bring your inspiration close to us. Chris could interfuse with one of these fires. Let's grab this one, maybe. And fire lash... Him? Wow, these guys are good at dodging fires. Okay, then. Death Lord. Rocks for Discus. That fire would hurt our own boys, so let's go rocks. Apparently fire is really not the best way to go for. Hmm. There's some low chances. That guardian link really does it for them. Now let's do this. At least you can hit the butler. Wow, you have no chances. You have a 99 there. Lucy, come up front. Oh, wait, what? Oh, is this gonna... The Matron's gonna hit him. Right, the Matron's gonna hit him. If you swap weapon, still can't hit there. You could hit that guy from here. No, just come, just come here. Hit him. That might kill him in the long run. That'd be nice. Nuke. We're terrible at this, aren't we? Care about this. Okay, zero damage there. Amazing. Okay, one damage. Is the fire gonna kill? Okay, who are you going for? Zero damage. And Lucy's back there. That's not the worst. He's in fire. Okay. Blocked. Oh, just killed the poor sommelier. Goddamn Grand Matron. Uh, Nuke got hurt a bit. The butler is recharging. Bone stitching the weldling who's gonna burn everybody again. Okay, uh, things are certainly getting interesting. Certainly getting interesting. Chris, you gotta move out of the fire, dude. Gotta move out of the fire. So let's go here. Fire lash. The coachman. Yeah, Fire Lash the Coachman. That's gonna hit the Welding as well, potentially. Who is it hitting? No, no, don't strike. Fire Lash. It's hitting the Welding. Oh, it's hitting the Nuke as well. The Nuke? The Nuke. The Nuke. What if the Nuke goes somewhere else? Thundering Challenge. Who's gonna... Who are you gonna terrify? Who we can't kill? Butler? Maybe Butler? How's Nuke's HP? It's not so good. Let's go with Heroism. Hmm. Let's Thundering Challenge him. Terrify. Let's pull back a bit. Nice block. I didn't think he's gonna actually get hurt there, but that's fine. Okay, now Chris! Fire Lash here. That guy dodged again! Is that even possible? How many times can you motherfucker dodge this? Stag? Is it gonna hurt you if you go through the fire? I don't even know. Death Lord, what if you interfuse with the fire you're standing on? And throw it away. Fire Lash. It's probably gonna hit him, right? Did you hit your... What? How'd you... I hate this. I hate this. I hate this absolutely now. Please kill him. Jesus Christ. Uh, mistakes have been made, for sure. It's really hard to see with the smoke effect over here. Who am I targeting? <laughs> Actually hard to see. Hit the coachman. Good damage. Okay, actually dealt 
damage to Matron as well. I like that. Okay, the coachman is dead. That guy is terrified. Even Butler is getting even more damage. Grand Matron is probably going to attack you if you come here, buddy. But that's, you know, it is what it is. Uh, wait, can you untangle or not? You can. Okay, put her on the fire there. Okay, one damage from that. I'll take it. Uh, just Guardian there for now. She takes one more damage. Butler just staying there. Grand Matron didn't do anything. I like that in my Grand Matrons. Can you take out the Butler and then we just focus on... Hmm, can Chris take out the Butler? 64. Come on, Chris. Yes! Okay. Okay, now we just have to deal with a Grand Matron. He is the only one. Death Lord, just Fire Lash from one side to the other. Ah, shit. No stag. A damage. <laughs> I like that. We have 100% chances over here now. I like that very much. Now, he's probably gonna get attacked if he moves in. No longer, I guess. 2 HP remains. 1 HP remain. 0 HP remain, cause it moved like a silly billy it is! And ladies and gentlemen, victory for the boys. Let's freaking go. We have done it. <laughs> she killed herself, basically. In Elk Knoll, the sun was just beginning to rise. Look at them go. The Steves. Happy faces. Old faces. And 100 years of peace followed. Oh, we bought 100 years of peace. Which is as much as any hero can ask for. We done it! You won! Let's go. Let's go. Final years of peace, 134. Sweet! Nuke spent many a happy night in the tavern, enthralling the ladies with the tales of his exploits. And that rumor about the unbreakable bones? Totally false. One day, Rolene awoke with a lightness in her step. Understand now, it all makes sense. She vanished for ten years and returned somehow unaged and full of contentment. Chris settled in at Nalfin Stills and found herself en enamored with the process. Her signature brew, Morthagi Fuel, became a regional favorite. Look at them go. Also good music, I like it. Beautiful. Robert tried to take Stag shopping at a local outfitters. Plus, they give the Steves a great discount. But I like the clothes I have. How many days trade have you worn that thing? Hey, I wash it! <laughs> that Lord's dream of his own personal research tower had finally been fulfilled. He kept it well stocked with tomes and scrolls full of formulas. Stag developed a passion for restoring ruined, ruined sites. It may not have quite matched their former glory, but he hoped the former inhabitants wouldn't be too embarrassed. Well, good for you, Stag. On his more civilized days, Robert would drop into town for gossip and tool repairs. But on the whole, he felt clear-headed, only among wilder kin. Yeah, Robert was a furry, clearly. That There's no question about that. Repairing the physical damage done to Yendre's door wasn't hard, but coaxing the magic back into the required weeks of meditation and spell work from Chris. Good, Chris. Good thing that you have that nice staff now. Doomforge offered to take discarded drawn armor and Marthagi parts, melting them down and reforging them to be used against the former masters. But we had peace, though. So. Mount Outfitter needed an angle to distinguish it from the others in the region. Stack proposed a yearly festival where its finest raiments would be shown off in dance. Yeah, Stack came for a dance. Nice. Chris gathered as many of the company's stories as she could and enlisted Stag to illustrate them. It's not terrible. I mean, not like I'm surprised or anything. <laughs> oh, Chris and Stag, of course. And Nuke and Lucy went out there on travels, I guess. Look at them go. The first harvest from the fields around Crab Trashery was a little off. 
No one could pinpoint exactly what was wrong, but everyone agreed that the flower tasted rusty. I wonder why. I wonder what happened to our sommelier. Oh, wait, well, he died, right? Poor guy. True to Kidace's word, that lord never went thirsty, for her taps were always flowing when the party came by. That lord! There you go. You see, she, she got drinks for us. Nice. These heroes will be added to your legacy. Yes, I will accept that. And we can promote... We can promote Nuke from folk hero to local legend. I guess that's acceptable. Yeah. The compassionate romantic. Uh, sure. Promote. Let's go. The elemental weapons you discovered this game have been unlocked in your legacy and will now be available to craft in all future games. Yay! Also, the, the Steam has achievements now, so we see that. And now we can see our boys over here. Look at Stag, Raleen, Death Lord, Lucy, Nuke over here. Beautiful boys. Beautiful boys. We've done well, my friends. I really enjoyed Wildermyth. Look at all of them go over here, around the campfire. This was a great story. I hope you guys had as much fun with it as I did. And uh, hope you really enjoyed Wildermyth. Check it out on Steam. Grab it now that it's fully released. It's a great game about stories and amazing RPG. Thanks for being here. I'll see you guys next time.